Today I'm here to talk to you guys about this mobile thermal camera. Now this thing is really cool and the company did send me this product for review, but they want me to show you what it is and how it works. So this is going to be a deep dive into this product. I'm going to show you some real live examples of it as well. Uh, let's first go ahead and talk about what comes with it and we're going to put it to the test. Okay, here's what you're going to get in the package. You do get an instruction a manual, uh, so it's a good idea to go through and read this. Um, now coming from this side here first, we have this little ring attachment. Now what this is, is it goes right onto the end here and that's just a little leash a little thing that you can put around your finger and hold on to it so it doesn't slip out of your hands and you can get this one here now this is a, like a wrist strap and it has a strong magnet part to it and what happens is it <laughs> as you can see it snaps on there really really tight so now you can use it and hold on to it so you're not going to lose this thing because it's just a handheld kind of thing um, and you can that's a strong super strong magnet and you can see where the magnet piece is, is right here in the middle um, and and just talking about that magnet part right well since I have this in my hand that you can stick this to any kind of metal so a metal pole if you're using this thermal gun to check like a car car engine the heat and stuff like that and you need to mount it someplace while, while you're working so you, but you can monitor the heat you can do that through it there uh, you do get a, a little a charger cord here it's USB C USB A you do need your own little power brick um, to it doesn't come with one but um, that's what you used it to charge it up now you can charge it up through the bottom of it here or you can charge it up with this base so uh, this can go into here and and you can see that there's a little uh, USB-C there and that goes in just like that to charge it up so you have a nice little charging stand and or stand to just keep it upright if you want to do that uh, you have that there as well and then the camera itself now you have a really good uh, powerful camera here the thermal camera um, i'm going to leave the specs over here to one of the sides for you so you can see the specs on this because they're really good specs on the type of camera on there now there's also a button here this is to take pictures and or video while you're doing this stuff and you're registering what you're registering if you want to keep a, a capture what that is you can do that there and of course power button to press it uh, and turn it on you're going to press and hold it for a little bit it turns on everything is ready to go there uh, press it again to turn it off there's no screen on it so <laughs> you can see that how do you get the information uh, from the camera well it's an app it's a phone app um, and I'm gonna show you that next okay now this is the phone app I'm showing it to you larger here on the side um, once you download it super simple to download very easy it doesn't cost you anything um, now on this app they actually you can connect different types of units so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this because this is the thermal uh, camera part of it and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on so I'm gonna press and hold it and turn that on so it's going to read what it is, is you can see here these are just the steps on how to do it blah 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 um, we're going to um, get the uh, the Wi-Fi part of it so so I went ahead and connect it I'm not able to show you the Wi-Fi part of it you just find the camera it's blinking you're ready to go and then now it's ready so I'm gonna hit the connect button to connect it so uh, fairly simple again it's a Wi-Fi system you have to connect your your phone and so here we go now you can see um, that it is uh, picking up my my face and uh, I'm wearing my glasses so I can see uh, they look like dark glasses sunglasses but they're not they're uh, reading glasses as you can see here on the on the camera camera um, but um, this is totally cool so now there's a lot of stuff going on on this app here um, just going from the top you have like a little menu system here that, that gives you lots of information we press this one it gives you kind of a calendar trend you can do an alarm setting so if it reaches something reaches a certain temperature you can have an alarm you can also use it like a security device if if a body walks into a room it detects the temperature and you can have the alarm um, this button here is your um, tracking system so you can screen track high temperatures low temperatures this one over here this brings up this menu down below here I hope you can see that um, where you can change it to the different things so um, white hot black hot iron red red hot all these different settings so uh, depending on how you like it or what you're looking for um, as far as your temperature guides um, that's it there now um, up here is your battery so it tells you how how good your battery charge is and this is your temperature gauge so right now the hottest is set up at about 100 100 degrees right now 
and the lowest temperature in the room is 77. Uh, so you can see that based on the colors. Now also down here, this little gear here pops up here. So if we hit the center button, this one here, um, this gives you a target. So if you can, you can place different targets in different areas and it's going to measure and record the targets. If I hit this little line thing, um, you can have a you know a target into a line area. So if you want to measure something in between things and whatever else you want to do, you can do that. Uh, the square is what it is, is you're just going to make a square and anything in that square, it's going to register your temperatures and give you an idea there. This button is your sensitivity. It, uh, it gives you a difference of sensitivity, a distance, uh, and ambient temperature. So you can go in and check all of those. And then of course this last one was to clear it all out. Down here's a little box that shows your uh, your rule, uh, max and minimum. So the max and minimum temperatures right now, what you see here is also listed there. And you have a little gallery. And this gallery gives you uh, basically what you took a picture of. <laughs> so uh, you can see I have different uh, things already stored in there. This is your camera button, so you can take a picture of it here now through your phone, or you can do it through the camera itself here. Um, if you hit the little red dot, it becomes a video, so now you can actually record video of what you're seeing. And then this button here is a uh, picture in picture. So you saw this little black box in there, but there's nothing on it. That's because it's picking up from the um, the back camera of my phone. So I hope you can see that there, um, and it'll it'll show up on the on the screen on the side the uh, back camera so now you can um, have the, your phone camera see what this camera is seeing if it's all together you can you can do that now i'll give you an idea too so i'm going to turn my phone upside down i can set this up on here now being it's got a magnet and this is kind of a mag ring thing uh, but it's not very strong it kind of it kind of falls off so i wouldn't rely on that part of it but if you wanted to just sit here and hold it and do this and I'm a you can watch the screen over here on the side but I'm going to go ahead and and see you can see that this is my the thermal camera showing my camera uh, facing me as well as the cell phone camera facing the other camera there's a lot of cameras going on so I apologize but you get the idea a picture in picture that part is pretty cool now back to the camera part itself again if I took if I press this button it's going to take a picture just like that um, if I press and hold it, it is recording. So now it's recording a new video um, on there. I'm going to hit it again to stop it. And then power button. And these little indicators are for the battery, battery indicator as well. Okay, this here is one of my vents in the house. It looks like it's uh, quite a bit hotter than the rest of it uh, here in the studio. This is a, a heater and air conditioning vent. Okay, here I am running the water in my bathroom. You can see I got the hot water on. And you can see how hot it is going on here. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to turn the hot water off and turn the cold water on. Now you can see the difference. Oh, it turns cold right away. That's pretty cool. And this one is the hot water. Pretty fun. Another thing you can do is actually uh, come over to your windows. This is my window, and you can see um, where the heat is coming in or the cold. Uh, you can do the same thing from the outside. This is on the inside now, um, where you can detect uh, air leakage, either heat or cool. And here we go again. Um, you can also detect your uh, human temperature. So uh, if a lot of you remember during the, the times when temperatures were being checked on everybody, and you know what I'm talking about, uh, a lot of people use thermal cameras or businesses use thermal cameras to detect if there was an extreme temperature of a person uh, without being invasive. You don't have to stick anything in their ears or temperature wise. All they had to do is look at it through a thermal uh, gun like this. That's another way you can use this. So as you can see, this is a very good quality uh, thermal camera, and you can have so many different uses for this. If you are looking for a really nice thermal camera with app to be able to do this uh, wirelessly, this might be the right one for you.